This is my version of, of scaring people straight um, and understanding where your future lies. And it doesn't matter whether you go into computer science, any discipline you go into these days is going to require computing knowledge. So where are we? The information revolution, digital revolution. Okay. Um, we don't see the magnitude of it. We can't see the forest through the trees. We do have something analogous in history, the industrial Re revolution. But it's not personal to us. I didn't lose my job, my profession didn't go away. I didn't lose my house. My parents, my neighbors didn't lose their jobs. This is happening right now. And we don't see it. Did you know three years ago, the Chicago Tribune fired all of its staff photographers? Why? They had their reporters just take pictures on their iPhones. An entire profession gone away. It's going to get worse. There are about four different forces that we know of right now. Embedded computing and robotics, machine learning, artificial intelligence, big data, social computing, and the Internet of Things. So let me make this personal, because again, your future's reliable. Embedded computing robotics. Well, we're seeing the automated checkouts in Walmart, Hannaford. Doesn't really affect us. No, we can move through. Do they work? I don't know. Um, but some job jobs were lost. Okay. DMV. Several states have gone to kiosks for the DMV. You walk in, you put your license in, facial recognition identifies you, you update your registration, your license, no more DMVs. Wahoo, right? Yippee. Okay, yeah, but let's look at the impact. 10 to 20 people at each of these DMV offices, some with no college degree, some with an associate science, associate in science, making 50 to $70,000 a year. They will never make this again when they lose their job. Okay, driverless cars. They're around the corner, okay? For consumers, 10 years. Okay, so I can jump in my car in Saratoga, it drives me, I get to sit on my iPad. Again, yippee, fantastic. Where it's gonna happen first though, tractor trailers. And think about this, tractor trailers, automated, 24 hours a day. They pull off during rush hour, snowstorms, traffic jams. Again, wahoo, snowstorms restrict them to the right-hand lane. We know what the north way's like. That's fantastic. Okay, five million Teamsters making $70,000 to $100,000 who will never again make that money. That's what I'm talking about. And it's not just, you know, the blue collar labor. It's, it's gonna move up into knowledge as well. If you search, my last name, Luby, L-O-O-B-Y, um, Apple, Sam Suing, you'll locate, on Google, you'll locate my younger brother my retired younger brother, okay? And he worked for FDI Consulting. And what he developed, he was the project lead for a machine learning algorithm, and it was used as the basis for the Apple Samsung litigation. And there were about four million documents that needed to be processed. And in the past, they would have employed about, I guess around 100 attorneys for six months to do the legal review. The machine did it in 10 minutes. What's the cost of 100 attorneys for six months. Don't be looking at me. Okay. Attorneys are good people. Attorneys are good people. Okay. And I can go on and on. Pharmacists. Uh, the pharmacy degree is one of the most rigorous undergraduate degrees there is. Okay. And they make six figures. They will be gone. Okay. I can go on and on. The Internet of Things is here. Okay. Big data, social computing. And I think it's at the outset. It's not just that you're going to computer science. Let me tell you, the CDC started using Facebook to identify disease outbreaks. Why? What's the form or morphology, so to speak, the, the process? Someone gets sick. Maybe two people get sick. Maybe one of them goes to the doctor. But when do they get an appointment? What's the incubation time? Three to five days later, right? Okay, so the physician sees one patient one day, three patients the next, five the next. Suddenly, the physician realizes there's something going on here. I need to report it. Let's look at Facebook and what the CDC, Center for Disease Control, started doing. They looked at Facebook data. Someone writes it. I have, I have a sniffle. I'm keeping Jenny home from school. She has a sore throat. When is all this being recorded? Recorded in real time. Day one. Okay? So they're collecting all this information. Now think about it. This is unstructured data. It's uncategorized. 
taxonomy, colloquialisms. What I say for to define a you know common cold up here may be completely different from what they how they what the terms they use in the South. So I'm talking about understanding populations. What am I talking about now? Marketing. Okay? We're looking at the convergence of computer science with every discipline. What if you want to go into social work? Okay, I'm New York State, I'm hiring, I'm looking for a new employee. Yes, I want someone who can work with people, but I also want someone who understands databases and social data, who can look at the big picture and say, is this a trend? Can I identify this? Say I'm the editor of the Saratogian or the Troy Record, and I'm looking for a new writer. I have 50 great resumes, 50 great writing samples. Who do I want? I want someone who understands databases who understands that there's something called a dark or deep web. Because the web that everyone surfs is just the tip of the iceberg, 10%. 10% of the information on the, on the web today is indexed. That's what you can get at. There's a whole another world of information, and if you're a reporter, that's the information you want to get to. How do you do it? Database work. So I can go on and on, biology, chemistry. You pick any discipline. And your future will depend not only on your discipline-specific knowledge, but also your computer science knowledge. So hopefully, hopefully I've conveyed the, the import of whatever you go into. Please, we're becoming a nation full of users. I know everyone here can use a computer. OK, great. We're a country full of consumers. But we know from economics, producers and consumers, which side you want to be on. That digital divide is about to get, it's about to widen. It has and has not, have not. So, onward, the CIS program. Um, we are industry leaders, we're local leaders. Uh, I'm not good at running slides, and so here you are. Computer scientists try to run a uh, overhead. <laughs> no, of course I went the wrong way. Okay, so we discussed the difference between the AAS and the AS, okay? The AAS is a terminal degree. However, in CIS programs, the AAS transfers very well. And in many cases, the AAS is preferable. Why? We go beyond what four-year schools can do. Okay, I'll talk about our system and network administration program, okay, which we're our Cisco Network Academy. We go through the Cisco Certified Network Professional. Most other schools, Schenectady County Community College, ACC, go through the CCNA. Okay, they do the CCNA in four semesters. We do the CCNA, CCNA in two and the CCMP in two. The difference, the CCNA, you can expect to make high 30s, 40s upon graduation. From our program, our graduates are starting at close to 60,000 or in some cases $60,000 because of that CCMP coursework. Okay. Um, in the web design. When I say web design, I'm not talking about pretty graphics. Okay? Parents here, we remember the dot-com crash, the early 2000s. Everything about the web that didn't have real core technology went away. Fluff means nothing. Okay? Presentation is important. Information science, okay? you know, it's cognition and psychology, it's marketing, things like this. But the true core of the web is the functionality. It's the dynamic nature of it, and that's what we are. So while our program is titled Web Design and WW Programming, it's actually the core technology that is the web, because that's what's really important today, okay? So we led all the institutions in the area by developing client-side scripting, server-side scripting, um, extensive database work, um, and then on the top, the web analytics, which is necessary. You need to measure everything you do. You can't just put it out there. You need to continually improve because your competitors are. And again, our competitors these days are global. Okay? We're not just competing with the people in this room or the people in this area. We're competing globally, and that's going to continue. The CIS AAS program, and this, this is, has many uh, merits to it. Um, New York State, where, let me back up a minute. The CIS AAS program focuses on programming and database work. And specifically for the database, we are a Oracle partner. And we were the first Oracle Academy in the area in 2002. Recently, Oracle, New York State offices, and SUNY identified a gap. 
there are more positions open in database than they can fill. And by the way, if you go into database, you will never be out of work. It's rigorous, I'll tell you that right now. So anyways, New York State, SUNY, and Oracle sought the three, only the three SUNY institutions that were Oracle Academies, one of course being us. However, the other two, Oswego and SUNY Albany, or University of Albany, had only just become Oracle Academies. We were the only ones that could fill that need immediately. And I am placing interns there. I, I, I don't have enough interns to give them. They want more than I have. So we, these are leading straight to New York State positions. And again, you get into Oracle Database Administration, you're looking at six figures the rest of your, rest of your life. Um, so where am I in, in the slide here? Should I go forward? Should I go back? I'm going backwards. Yeah. What makes a difference? Thank you for allowing me to digress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you turn it upside down, it's Thanks, all John. over. <laughs>